it was a dark and stormy night. Kendra and her group of friends were huddled together in a cabin in the woods, trying to stay warm and dry. The power had been out for days, and they were running low on supplies. They had been planning to go to the city for help, but the roads were blocked by debris from the massive storms. Suddenly, they heard a loud banging on the door. Kendra approached the door cautiously, peeking out the window to see who was there. She saw a group of men in military uniforms, and she knew they were in trouble. She quickly ran back to the group and told them to hide. She grabbed a knife from the kitchen and went back to the door. She asked the men what they wanted, but they just kept banging on the door, demanding to be let in. Kendra knew they wouldn't be able to hold the men off for long, so she made a quick decision. She told the group to follow her out the back door, and they all ran into the woods. They could hear the men smashing through the door as they ran, but they didn't stop until they were far away from the cabin. They were all exhausted, but they had to keep moving. They had no idea what those men were going to do to them if they caught them. The group continued to run through the woods, not knowing where they were going or what they were going to do. They were all scared, and they had no idea what was going to happen to them. Suddenly, they heard gunshots coming from behind them. They all ducked down, terrified that they were going to be shot. The gunshots continued, and they could hear the men calling out to them, telling them to stop running. Kendra knew they had to keep moving. She got up and started to run again, with the others following close behind her. They ran as fast as they could, but they could still hear the men behind them, getting closer and closer. Then, Kendra heard one of the men yell out in pain. She turned around to see that Jay had been shot. He fell to the ground, and Kendra ran to him. The men were getting closer, and she knew she had to get Jay to safety. She picked him up and started to run again, but she was shot in the leg. She fell to the ground, still clutching Jay. The men were almost to them now, and Kendra knew they were going to be caught. She wanted to give up, to let them take her and Jay but she knew she had to keep fighting. She couldn't let them win. She used all her strength to get up, and she started to run again. The men were right behind her, but she didn't stop. She refused to give up. Suddenly, she heard a loud bang, and she felt something hit her in the back. She fell to the ground, and everything went black. Kendra woke up to find herself in a dark room. She was disoriented and confused. She tried to sit up, but she couldn't move. She realized she was tied to a chair. She heard voices coming from the other side of the room, and she strained to see what was going on. She could make out the forms of two men. They were talking in hushed tones, and she couldn't make out what they were saying. She tried to cry out, but heard the men ignored her as she continued to struggle and cry out. They were focused on their conversation and didn't seem to notice her. Suddenly, the door to the room burst open and light flooded in. Kendra squinted against the sudden brightness and saw several men in military uniforms enter the room. The men who had been talking hastily left the room, and Kendra was left alone with the soldiers. They untied her and led her out of the room. The soldiers explained that they were there to rescue her and the others. They had received a tip that the group was being held captive by the government. The soldiers helped Kendra and the others escape. They were taken to a safe house where they could rest and recover. Kendra and the others were relieved to be safe. They thanked the soldiers for their help. The soldiers told them that they would be in touch and left. Kendra and the others decided to stay at the safe house for a few days to rest and recover before moving on. A few days later, Kendra and the others were ready to leave the safe house. They thanked the soldiers again for their help and left. They were careful to evade the government agents who were still looking for them. They were finally able to start new lives and put the whole ordeal behind them. Kendra and the others fled the safe house and avoided government agents. They were finally able to start new lives and put the whole ordeal behind them. Kendra and the others continued to live their new lives, free from the government's tyrannical grip. They were happy and healthy and able to put the traumatic events of the past behind them.